Hi everybody, this is Andy with Intelligent Video Solutions, and in this video we're going to talk about the concept of editing the information template of a recording once it's completed and it's in the review. To start, we're actually going to go to a recording that I've already completed in the review section. I'll click on the recording, session 2. And I'm going to go to the edit button here. So you can see here, I have this information template that we've created. All it's asking for is the name of the recording, the objective that we are looking to accomplish, and any sort of audio note. But your information template might look a whole lot different than ours does. The ability to edit it after it's been completed would allow these fields to be open, and I can make modifications. So you can tell that this user here has the ability to edit the information while the recording is in review. Now, if I were to go into the settings, Users and Groups, select a group in which I want to modify the permissions, and scroll on down to Rights. Within the Review tab, the top thing you'll find is Edit Information. If there's a user group that we don't want them to be able to modify that information after the recording has been completed, we would uncheck this. So the user group that I just selected, they don't have the ability to edit this information. So if I were to log out and log in as a user within that user group, we should see that if I go back into review and select the exact same recording that my other user was using, and I go back into edit, that these fields are now not able to be adjusted. And that's it. That's the ability to take away the right to edit the information template once a recording is in review. 